Good evening and welcome. We're coming to you from the Fiji Symposium in Bangalore, the platform for all dialogue on financial inclusion. And with me today from ITU is Mr. Vijay Mori. Welcome, Mr. Vijay. He also is the leader of Security Infrastructure and Trust Working Group. So welcome. How does it feel to be part of the first ever Fiji Symposium? It feels great. Uh, so this symposium is a unique platform that brings together uh, all the stakeholders of the ecosystem. Uh, the telco regulators, financial services regulators, the mobile network operators, yeah. digital financial services platform providers, and also the fintech community. So it's a really unique platform that we have here that bring together different stakeholders with different interests and different uh, requirements and they can share all their experience uh, in this unique place. And when it comes to your working group, what exactly are the key objectives of your working group? It's very simple. To make sure that your transactions take place in a secure manner okay. and nobody can steal your information, your money. That's, that's, a, that's, a simple, that's the simplest way of putting it. Okay. However, uh, when we talk about security in digital financial services, we're talking about four main things. So how we protect the, uh, the, the integrity yeah. of the transactions, that is to ensure that no one has tampered with the information that is being sent across. Okay. And secondly is to ensure that whenever you want to use the network to send the money, it's there, it's available. That is the availability of the network is there. Okay. Thirdly, it's um, ensuring that uh, the communications takes place in a secure manner. Okay. You know, that you're not losing your money. You're not being defrauded uh, when you use uh, the system. And fourthly, it's looking at all the risk, security risks that are brought into by new technologies because technology ch changes all the time okay. and uh, whatever what was there 10 years ago yeah. now is completely obsolete and you have new technologies that are coming in, coming in like for example big data analytics are being used to create profiles uh, for people so that you can uh, give them uh, credit uh, afterwards you know, to build their credit profile. However, these could have security implications. So we're looking at all these new technologies as well as their security implications. Uh, so essentially you're DFS. keeping up to speed with all the new technologies that exactly. are coming in and trying to make it as secure as possible. Exactly. Okay, so uh, with related to your working group, what exactly are the key areas that you're looking at tackling? Yeah, there are a number of key areas uh, that we are looking at. So the, the security uh, work infrastructure and trust working group itself is a group into uh, four uh, key areas, I would say. So we have, we're looking at, for example, the, how we secure the infrastructure security okay. layer, that is the communications infra infrastructure, how it can be secured. Uh, the second element that we're looking is creating trust in the usage of digital financial services. So ensuring that people, when they're using digital financial services, they feel secure. Okay. You know, they know that they're not going to be defrauded, that when they're sending money to uh, Mr. X, yeah. the money is actually reaching Mr. X and not going to Mr. Y. Yeah. Okay, so how do you create the trust in using the system? Uh, in this uh, area, we're also looking at digital Ponzi schemes that okay. have come up uh, recently. A lot of these Ponzi schemes used to, to, to take place, you know, by on the phone, but now with the internet, a lot of these Ponzi schemes and now can be uh, re can reach the people uh, yeah. through the internet. So we're looking at the collaboration between telco regulators and financial services uh, regulators, how they can work together uh, to bring down these Ponzi schemes. And in this uh, symposium, we have a, a paper that is going to be discussed on uh, actually these uh, digital Ponzi schemes and how we can protect people from, from such schemes. Uh, we are also uh, looking at uh, the area of um, quality of service, for example, to ensure that the network is available when you want to use it. So we have defined uh, some uh, indicators for uh, what we call key performance indicators uh, for the quality of service of the mobile network. And these uh, key performance indicators or KPIs are going to be measured in a pilot project and this will give a methodology for uh, telco regulators to better monitor the uh, quality of service for mobile networks when it comes to digital uh, financial services. And the fourth uh, area that we have is uh, on distributed uh, ledger technologies. 
uh, which plays a key role now, uh, which is trying to have a key role in uh, the payment uh, system and in financial services. So we have a work stream uh, which is looking at the implications of using distributed ledger technologies uh, for financial inclusion. And uh, this uh, work stream will be presenting its uh, report as well at the symposium uh, this week. Okay. So quite a bit of uh, issues to be tackled at the working group. Yes, mm. there's a number That's of issues. Yeah. And I think, if I may add on the infrastructure security, I went through it very quickly, okay. but it actually consists of three subgroups in okay. the infrastructure security. So uh, there are three main uh, groups, like I said. So the, f uh, the most important, I mean, not most important, but the three main ones are the application security, looking at all the vulnera vulnerabilities at the level of the applications. So whether it's a USSD application or it's a, an application that's running on a smartphone app. So we are, and we're doing security testing on this application to find out whether they have been secured in the right way. And then we'll come up with recommendations on best practices for developers uh, for who are actually producing these applications. The second one is uh, how we secure the uh, infrastructure layer with regards to uh, the SS7 vulnerability in communication uh, network. Uh, because through the SS7 vulnerability, uh, someone can get access to your account and transfer funds without you being aware of it. So it's an important issue that needs to be tackled and we're actually looking at developing uh, mitigation strategies for this. We're also developing a security assurance framework uh, which will help uh, DFS providers to better organize themselves to, when it comes to cybersecurity threats and also provide a framework for the regulators to assess their security compliance as well. It will be like a tool that can be used by the regulators to also assess the compliance uh, of uh, the DFS uh, providers. And the third, uh, the third subgroup that we have under the security work stream is the authentication, okay. uh, is a, is a authentication work stream, uh, which is looking at uh, different authentication technologies and looking at the interoperability of these authentication technologies. So, you know, you can, previously you would be using a password yeah. to send and receive money. So password, as you know, can be easily tampered with. So in the authentication work stream, we're looking at technologies that can help you, can help authenticate a person without the need of a password. So it could be facial recognition technology or other kind of technologies uh, that are available currently. But however, this has to be implemented in a secure way. So well, and then they have to be interoperable so that they can be used uh, across platforms as well. And most so, importantly, securely, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Great, thank you so much. Thank you okay. so much for your answers.